I recently purchased this faulty Steam Deck for £200. The issue for me personally was that I went to power it on and there was just no screen. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I did to fix it. If you want to watch the video of me attempting to fix it and failing, I'll leave that video in the description down below. Well, Joey, how did you actually fix it? Well, somebody left a comment on my previous video. That comment read as the following. FYI, the volume down dot 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 plus power button until you get a flashing light worked for me. But mine took almost 20 minutes to come on. I had tried this fix in the first video. However, I pressed a few buttons whilst doing it. This must have interrupted something to do with the BIOS reset process because that's exactly what that combination of buttons does. There are hundreds, if not thousands of Steam Decks out there that have this issue. And I really hope it's going to help you, whoever's watching, solve that issue. So go ahead and do exactly that. I'm not going to do it now because again, this works. But the buttons you want to press is the three dots, the volume down, and just hold the power button for a couple of seconds. What you'll then start to see is this light here start to flash. When this light is flashing, please just leave it. I'd maybe even recommend putting the unit on charge, doing that button combination. And if you have to, leave it until the next day. For me, it took about five to 10 minutes. For the person who left the comment, it took them 20. I have no doubt that it could potentially take longer. And the fact that so many Steam Decks may have potentially seen e-waste because of this is not that great. So I'm hoping that Valve come up with a solution to solve this issue. I'm just turning it on as well. Just press the power button to validate that it actually works. As you can see, we get the Valve Steam logo just there. And here we go. Don't judge me because I was playing Fast Food Simulator. But as you can see, my screen is working absolutely fine. The condition of this, bar a sticker on the back that was here, is fantastic. There wasn't a mark on the screen at all, no drop damage. Something had just gone faulty in the BIOS. The specific version of this model was a 64 gig EMMC version, which I don't even think they sell anymore. But if you do come across this issue, try out this fix. And I'm really hoping it does something for you. Thank you.